the devil and the demons, they already have control of you. The whole movement of the alphabet community is just sexual. Everything is sexual. And if you want attention, why would you want it from kids? <laughs> If you're new, stick around. And if you want to support this channel, just subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Today I'll be talking about what happened in Canada and why this teacher decided to wear prosthetics to school, like to a public school where children is going to be there. He was teaching a welding class. Like This man decided to wear prosthetic breasts and... It's just ridiculous. I'll insert a video so you can see a little bit of it. But this goes to show you how people are brainwashed by the devil and the demons because they live in the flesh and their desires are for the flesh. They don't live by the spirit. And they have a depraved mind. So God has turned them over to a depraved mind. They have chance to repent however they want to follow the flesh they follow their evil wicked desires instead of repenting like why would he go to school wearing prosthetic breasts and then these are not like normal size breasts these are like huge breasts like what kind of person does that who does that like what is wrong with people and then the school board says that it's okay, it's normal, because they're trans and they have to accept everybody. Everybody has to be accepted. I don't care if you're trans or whatever you are. Please dress accordingly when you go to an event or anywhere. Just don't do these kind of things in front of children, you know? It's just... Like, this picture is just embedded in my mind, and that video is just so disturbing. That's why the kids recorded it. Like, why would you do that? It doesn't make no sense at all. Like, you want to be, like, this is the whole movement of, the whole movement of the alphabet community is just sexual. Everything is sexual. Everything is over-sexualized. It's just ridiculous. And, like, why would you do such a thing? Why would you even do that? Like, why? Does that make any sense? And I'm pretty sure if it was a a, a female, like, a natural-born female doing that, I'm pretty sure they would have said something about it. Like, they usually do with these other teachers that are very curvy and stuff. I'm pretty sure they would have said something if it was that situation. So, yeah, I'm going to read you what the scripture says about these kind of people. In Romans 1, 27 to 28, it says, In the same way, the man also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed shameful acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error. Furthermore, just as they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, so God gave them over to the pride mind so that they do what ought not to be done. So this is what happened. He has a deprived mind. That's why he's walking around like that. And he decided it's good. But this deprived mind means that you don't have like no morality at all. Like, the devil and the demons, they already have control of you. They already brainwashed you to think that this is normal, and it's not. God has given them over to the pride mind. And it's sad because this ideology of living is not good for children. It's not good at all. Like, you want to do that? Do that in your own bedroom, in your private time. Why would you come and bring that to the school? Where kids are there and learning and trying to do something for themselves for the future. Not nonsense like that, you know? It's, this is just called attention seeking. And if you want attention, 
Why would you want it from kids? Why would you want it from little children? Jesus said, anyone who leads these children astray, it's better for them to have a milestone around their neck and be thrown into the ocean. And that's exactly what's going to happen with this person if they don't repent. They're going to be thrown right into the lake of fire with a milestone around their neck. The school board said it's okay. It just doesn't make any sense. Thank God my child is not in that school or any of, you know, any of you who, who's in school right about now because it's just so disturbing. I live in Florida, thank God for Florida and for Ron DeSantis who has some morality to think that these things, like they teaching children about sexuality at a young age and stuff like that, they think these things are normal. This is not normal. When I was a kid, this wasn't even thought of about changing genders and being another person and stuff like that. We just wanted to play outside and have fun, you know? None of those things were ever thought of. Not even cross our mind to even think of changing genders or anything like that. Or having, you know, a different kind of body, genitals, you know? Nothing like that. So now that everybody needs to be accepted they only accept certain people. They only accept certain ideology. But when it comes to God and Christianity or morality, it's not accepted. It's just looked upon like, oh, that's just another religion. It's just not, there's just something to not keep us from living our best simple life. That's what that is. That's why God is going to quiet his wrath and, you know, and they just gonna suffer wrath. Like, anybody who's living in sin suffers wrath. Let me know what you think about this video. Comment down below. Love you, Roy T. Family. Keep these people in prayer so like that they can repent and turn from their wicked ways. Please. The book of Revelation says the people, even the people in the book of Revelation, after all... God even gives them an opportunity in the book of Revelation to repent from their wickedness during the wrath, and they still don't repent. Love you, royalty family. Comment down below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.